Welcome to this tutorial for Cambridge IGCSE examinations in ICT. Today I would like to show you how to create a database query and within that query a calculated field. Then we are going to create a report from that query so that we can print out our results. Inside the report we are also going to add a group total. This could be adding, counting or even using an average function. We are going to be using for this tutorial Paper 3 version 2.1 of the May-June 2011 examination papers. In particular we are going to do question 47 and we are going to produce a report. From the question paper you can see there are a number of points that we have to complete. In order to produce a report we first of all need to create a query. What I like to do is look and read the questions and decide or decide which parts of the points are going to be queries and which part of the points are going to be the report. So if we have a quick look, contains a new field called delivered price which is calculated at runtime. Because it's used the word calculated at runtime, I immediately know that that has to be in a query. The next point has a delivered price field in euros. Well it relates to the point above so therefore it has to be in the query. Shows only the records where the country is France and the cars have not been dispatched. So the question is asking us to search or filter for the cars where the country is France and the ones that have not yet been dispatched. So because we're searching or we're trying to find that automatically means a query. Shows only the fields VIN and it gives you a range of other fields. That can be done in either the query or the report but it's much easier to do that in the report. Fits on a single page is report, has a page orientation of landscape as a report, sorts the data into ascending order of the VIN field name. Again that can either be done in the query or the report but it's much easier to do in the report. Calculates the total number of cars so we need to find out how many cars are in the report. So this is our summing up or our adding function that we need to do within that report so therefore as I've said it has to be in the report. Has a label to the left report includes the heading dispatched again report has your name and centre number on. So everything apart from the first three points are going to be reports and everything else is going to be a query. Here we have the Access Database already opened and as you can see the table has already been created and we're going to create the query based on this table. So the first thing we need to do is we need to actually create a query. To do that we select the word create, then we select query wizard and we're going to take the simple query wizard view so select OK. The things that we need to be careful here is when we build up a range of queries the table might not be selected, it might be another type of query. So normally all queries will be based on a table. We're going to add all of the records and then we're going to click next. At IGCSE level you just basically leave this screen alone because you know 99% of the time you're using the detail. So next. Here you can actually give the query a name and I like to call it query so that I know it's a query and then say the question that it's related to. 
just in case I need to go back or I've made any mistakes it will be easy to find and rectify. So click finish. Here we have the query. You can see it here. And if we click on the table and the query there doesn't look to be really any difference. The difference is in the design view. So if I right click and go into design view it looks much different than a table that would be in design view. So we're, now we're going to start and work on our query. And the first thing we had to do was create a calculated field. So I'm going to scroll over to find a blank field. At the top here I'm going to type in the name that I want to call the field. And it's delivered price. So that is giving me the field name but to complete that I must put a colon on and that tells the computer that that is going to be the field name. The next thing we need to do is we need to do the calculations. So it is said here that we need to use cost price and you can see cost price here. And you notice that a field has a square bracket so we need to do that. Cost price and we need to close that with a square bracket. The question then asked us to add a delivery charge of 200 euros. So I'm simply going to go plus 200 and then hit enter. If everything is okay then there won't be any error messages but if you do get an error message you need to check that you've typed in the data correctly. Usually error messages will occur from a basic misspellings. So to check to see if it's worked, I'm going to click on the Run button. And here we can see that we have the field, delivery price, and yes, we have it all in a currency format, but we needed to change that to Euro. So if we go back to the view, and if we right-click on the delivered price field and go into the Properties, we can change the format. So if we change the format to Euro, and you can even put in the decimal places if you wish, but because it is a currency format anyway, it will go into two decimals. Click the Run button to make sure that it's worked. And yes, it looks as though it's worked fairly well. The next thing we had to do then was show only the records where the country is France and the cars have not yet been dispatched. So if we look over here with country, we can see there are a range of different countries and there's 840 records. I'll just get rid of that. 840 records. So you're going to be quite a long time counting up to see how many actually France's there are. So we'll get the computer to do that for us. So let's go into design view. Make sure we select the correct field, country, and type the word France. Always check to see if it's worked. So click on the Run button, country France, and you see that there are, there are, it's gone down from 800 to 151 records down here. We also had to find out or search for the cars that had not yet been dispatched so that will be no rather than yes so in the dispatch field we need to type in the word no so let's change the view and go into the dispatch field and type the word no again check to make sure that it's worked it's done something wrong there so let's click on design view and see if we can find out what's wrong Mistake is I typed into the distributor field. Okay? So doing or checking each one individually means that it should be quite easily fixed because you've only got one particular thing to fix than, than lots. So let's try that again. Run. And it's changed now to 43 records. So that is basically our query part complete. And now we will have to look at the report section.